The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. So this is episode 133. 133. Yeah, 133 episodes. And that's not including all of the special editions we've done yes. and all of the 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 content that we put out. We create a lot of content here on the show. We, we, we make a lot of shit. My lord, we create a lot of content. More yeah. than more than one item a day. Yeah. Is how it's working out. So so the list so yes, this is episode 133, but oh my lord, we've made so much stuff. Uh, ours, ours is a rich tapestry of thoughts and ideas. And as a result of that, it is possible, however unlikely, that you, the listener, and I'm talking about you now, I'm breaking down the fourth wall, and I'm building a fifth and sixth wall, yes. and I'm breaking those two down as well. It might be possible... However unlikely that you, the listener, might not have heard the 132 episodes that have led to this important episode. So, as a public service to you, the listener, we really are sort of heroes here. We really are heroes. As a public service to you, the listener, we like to start off every episode with a little previously on. Yes. To sort of prepare you, get you ready for the episode. Just to let you know what happened in the last episode, because this show is highly serialized. Just think, um, uh, Welcome to Night Vale and Serial have been fuck buddies. <laughs> while while uh, that Richard Simmons podcast just watches off to the side. That's basically our show. Yes. It's highly detailed and serialized and... There are plots and characters and events which happen which just shake the podcast to its very foundation. Yes. And as a result, we think that you, the listener, really needs to know what's happened on the show. So, without any further ado, with a little bit of ado, with a, a dollop of ado on the side, previously... Is that, on is that sifted or packed? It... it, it I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my manager. Ah, okay. But without any further ado, previously on the Popon Film, last week was another hilarious episode of the Popon Film Late Night. We had guest Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang Theory, and he told us about all the pranks they pull on set. <laughs> the audience was in stitches with those amazing stories. They're we such had scamps. Yeah. We had gorgeous supermodel Alfonsa. Woo! Boy, she got me hot under the collar, if you know what I'm saying. But every time she says a it's a real turn off for me. You really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you real. can kinda you can kinda tell. You know. You can kinda tell in the episode. And of you course, know, when, she, when she punches the jukebox and a song comes on. Yeah, that's a bit weird. No matter how hot she is, it totally makes me lose my boner. Yeah. And of course, uh, this last week's musical guest, Fountains of Wayne. <laughs> and they played a song from Fountains of Wayne. Wow, that was a great time. And, of course, we had our regular weekly shenanigans. Stephen Bunny did the cinnamon challenge. Cough, cough, excuse me? <laughs> and, of course, we had our old friend Paul Jemko from the Cincinnati Zoo come by with some exotic animals. The one landed on Bunny's head, and Bunny, you screamed. What was that that you screamed? I forgot. What did you scream last week? Uh, Cracker Box Palace. Oh, yeah. People were just cracking up yeah. about that. And uh, another visit 
by Chim Chum, the break dancing monkey. <laughs> the, 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 the audience at home really loves it when Chim Chum, the break dancing monkey, breaks into the set and everybody has to have a dance party. <laughs> Such <laughs> silliness we have every week here on the show. And of course, because this is a talk show, we're talking about a lot of great Buttafuoco jokes. Yes. Only yes. the best Buttafuoco jokes. And of course, more uh, Buttafuoco jokes than you will hear from any podcast in the last decade. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. And of course, and of course, uh, uh, some really good uh, Judge Lance Ito impressions. <laughs> some some great ones. We are really, uh, we're we're really, you know current events here we're current events yes this this week on the show we've got nathan fillion talking about his exciting show castle which i've been told some people actually watch <laughs> and later Tim I, Allen, I, I i never hear anybody talk about it or once in a while it comes up as a joke somewhere yeah yeah and then we're also going to be having Tim Allen. Tim Allen is going to be coming on to the show and uh, saying racist shit <laughs> that he will get away with because he's gay. Yes. And of course, this week, musical guests, Fountains of Wayne. Is, is he still gay? I believe he's still gay, yes. I don't know. We'll have to test him. So is he going to go just go and do a complete Milo on us? I don't know. Like I said, we'll have to test him. We'll have to give him a gay test <laughs> to see if he truly is gay. Mm -hmm. So I have my doubts. But of course, musical guest Fountains of Wayne back with us tonight. Apparently, Fountains of Wayne don't have a lot to do. So it's Fountains of Wayne month. Fountains of July. <laughs> We've got Fountains of Wayne here in the studio. They're tuning up in Maxwell's room. It's a is, bit crowded in there. But... Is, that, is that like a real group? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's Fountains of Wayne? <laughs> yeah. Fountains of Wayne. Did they sing Stacy's Mom, or am I thinking of a different band? Uh, God damn it. Now I have to Google Fountains of Wayne. I... I, I, I don't like the image that Fountains yes. of Wayne is putting in my head. I was right. They sang Stacy's Mom has got it going on. <laughs> they sang that song. Yes. <laughs> it's all about this kid who has like this girl that likes him named Stacy, but the kid has his eyes on Stacy's mom because Stacy's mom is attractive. Dude, Stacy will put out. Oh yeah? So yeah, so maybe you should be focusing on Stacy, who's right there and willing, and not her 48-year-old mother. Yes. Maybe you've just been watching too much MILF porn, mm -hmm. and your priorities are all out of whack. You should be, you should be uh, focusing on reality and not fantasy. <laughs> Unnamed uh, narrator. And that's... Anyway, this Fountains of Wayne. Fountains of Wayne, yes. They're going to be joining us later for a song. And, and that's, so, what he, that's what he wants to give his girlfriend's mother. Yeah. Fountains of Wayne. Yeah, Fountains of Wayne. Yeah. So you're saying, so you're saying that the singer is Wayne, and he's trying to give Stacy's mom a fountain of Wayne. That's how I would interpret it. Gotcha. 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 